Hi everybody, welcome to Vids. If you're seeing this video, it's likely your first time um, within our app. And I just want to take a moment to walk you through the tool and show you what you can do. So here we are in the dashboard. The first thing to point out on the left, we have a menu here. So the dashboard, this is the main page here with the create section. Um, because you haven't created any videos yet, this is the get started section with the video that you're watching now. Below it, we have our content planner section. So here you can type in a keyword, a topic or a phrase, and our AI will um, generate ideas for videos for you. Uh, and below it, we have our latest tutorials. So if you ever get stuck, you just head down to this section and you can catch up on our latest tutorials and see how best to use the tool. In the menu next, we have my vids. So once you start creating um, video projects, your video projects will all be displayed in here. As now you can see, I haven't created any, so it's empty, but they will be displayed here. So you can access them at any time. You can duplicate them, delete them, or continue editing. So just head to the My Vids to continue working on projects. Next, we have the templates. Here you will see a list of our template library. Um, you can filter them at the top by different um, categories. And also you can just hover over them with your mouse and you'll see the template. It will play a little preview for you. If you like one of the templates, just go ahead and click it and we're gonna be loaded straight into the vids editor with that template applied to your video. The next section we have is the content planner. This is an AI powered content uh, generator. So you simply type in a topic that can be a word, a keyword or a keyword phrase, and it's gonna generate video ideas for you. If you like the video idea, you can um, go ahead and click um, create. So let's have a look at one. Let's do something silly like elephants. Okay, so I click the elephants and I've got a new idea and it's giving me some inspiration. Why, who, how. So let's talk about the life of elephants. Oh, I spelled it wrong. I click enter. And here we go. Now I've got a completely new topic and I can generate content and I'm going to use AI to generate five short points about the life of elephants. And that's going to generate for me. And once it's generated, if I'm happy with the content, I can just go ahead and click create video and it's going to automatically create a video, select uh, stock video assets for me. And um, yeah, so I have a video within two minutes. I didn't have an idea before and now I've got a video. So that's really cool. And then the final thing is tutorials. So here we have our latest tutorials for you. So if you don't find the one you're looking for on the dashboard at the bottom, head to the tutorial section and you'll get a list of all our tutorials. So let's head back to the dashboard. Here at the top, we have our create carousel and the videos are um, categorized by the type of video. So we have Instagram Reel, Facebook Post, YouTube, TikTok. And if you scroll through, you'll see all different types of videos that you can create with. If you don't see the type of video that you were hoping to create, that's no problem. Just simply head to the create a video button in the top right and you can add in your custom size and click create with custom size. And now you have exactly the custom video that you were looking for. Below the carousel, we have our new automations. And this is our AI powered tools. We have AI to video, which is uh, a prompt that you put in and it will generate a video for you from a prompt. The next one is text to video. So this one you can simply start typing and it will generate scenes for you. Um, or you can um, paste in a blog article or an article from the web and it's going to turn it into a video. One cool thing that the text to video has is an AI summarization tool. So if you input your blog, you can copy and paste it in. You can click summarize and it's going to use AI to summarize that blog into a more concise structure for a video. The final tool is the tweet to video tool. This is great if you want to turn a tweet thread into a video, you simply copy in the, the tweet link and it will generate a video for you. So below it, this is the video you're watching now. Once you've started creating um, videos, your most recent vids projects will show in this section. So let's go ahead and create a first video. Let's do a Instagram post. So simply click it and now we're loaded into the video editor and we can go ahead and choose from um, our bunch of templates here, the whole library, or we can start from scratch. So let's go ahead and choose a template and it's loaded in 
and everything is responsive. So if I change my mind about which type of video I was making, I could just go ahead and update that to the new size and it will automatically update the video in the screen. So to edit the video, we simply click on the elements on the screen in the middle and it will open up the editor on the left hand side. So we have many options. We can update the text, we can update fonts, colors, um, we can add animations, so it animates in and out. And we can change background colors. There's all sorts of things we can do. We have full control over it. And that's always in the left hand panel. Same thing for the background elements. Just click it and it's going to open up the panel on the left. And we have all these options for editing. If we want to change overall settings to the whole video, we head over to the project settings on the right hand side. And we go ahead and click that all and it's going to open up. So we can change the title, we can change the size of the video, we can add a logo overlay, it's like a watermark. Um, we can add audio tracks, you can add multiple, so you can have music, voiceovers, uh, whatever you want. We can add a brand kit as well, so if you have specific colors and fonts that you use, you can add those in and it will update the whole video um, in one click, which is really cool. And if you've got a lot of text in your video, you can update the reading speed to either speed up or slow down the video based on your audience's needs. And we also have a background color. If you don't have any um, media or background elements in the video, you can update the color. So that's it. That's a quick walkthrough of vids. Um, once you've created a video, if you're ready to download, just go ahead and click the download button. Otherwise, you can head back to the dashboard and your video will have been saved. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're always on, um, on standby for support, and we hope you get some real value out of vids. Thanks, and we will see you in the next tutorial video.